وقت الحرب بلشت باوكرانيا اختفى الزيت اختفى الطحين وكل اسعارها دوبلت هالفقير كيف بده يعيش Lebanon, a tiny country nestled on the shores of the Mediterranean, is in the grips of one of the world's worst financial crises since the mid-1800s. And the war in Ukraine has only pushed its economic crisis deeper. <laughs> now, a meal that once transcended class has become unaffordable for many. 80% of Lebanon's wheat supply used to come from Ukraine, and the country is scrambling to find new suppliers. After Russia attacked Ukraine, news of bread shortages triggered panic and long lines at bakeries across the country. And with only one month of wheat reserves left, many say life in Lebanon is becoming unbearable. Eli is one of the many Lebanese people struggling to make ends meet. For decades now, he has been starting his days at around 5 a.m. Lately, he has been working without electricity due to power cuts. He and his wife, Elen, have worked countless hours in the bakery to raise a family of three. Government corruption and mismanagement plunged Lebanon into financial crisis in 2019. And then COVID-19 and Beirut's port explosion intensified an already dire situation. Thousands of tons of ammonium nitrate exploded in Beirut's port on August 4, 2020 killing at least 217 people and wounding 7,000. Lebanon's sectarian system of governance institutionalizes the representation of various religious sects. So when Lebanese citizens vote, they can only choose candidates from their own religious sect and in their own districts. And many say this is one of the root causes of the crisis the country is facing. Now, triple-digit inflation and a currency devaluation of 90% have plunged millions below the poverty line. Food prices have increased by more than 400% since 2019. And the war in Ukraine is pushing that number even higher. For example, take the manushi sold at Elise. Before 2019, Izatar manushi cost 1,500 Lebanese pounds. That price changed to 9,000 pounds after inflation. And since the war in Ukraine, this number has skyrocketed. Now, Izatar Manushi costs 15,000 pounds. Eli is now 73 years old. He's had to let his only staff member go. And now he is getting by with the help of his wife, Ellen. At home, many in Lebanon are forced to change their eating habits. تغيرت الحياة. Tired 
Together, Russia and Ukraine exported more than 28% of the world's wheat in 2020. Their absence in the market is impacting the Middle East and the world. For the Arab region, we have few countries that can really uh, depend on their um, ag agricultural sector for a major percentage of their need. This dependency on import or limited production at the regional level creates this high vulnerability. Lebanon became especially dependent on quick wheat deliveries after the explosion destroyed the country's main facility for storing grains. فنحن تأثرنا كثير بالموضوع هذا لأنه نحن ما عنا مخزون استراتيجي بالنسبة للمرفة بالدمر من سنتين وعنا ما شاء الله المسؤولين آخر همون المخزون الاستراتيجي ما بفتشوا شو البديل. These grain silos used to be able to store four months worth of wheat reserves. Now, Lebanon's 12 wheat mills are forced to store the grains. We met with the CEO of one of them. We choose Ukrainian wheat. The quality of the wheat is suitable for our Lebanese bread. Second reason is it is competitive in price. Third reason is the logistic. What I mean is Ukraine is near Lebanon. So if you order wheat, it can come in maybe one week or 10 days. Lebanon's central bank subsidized wheat before the economic crisis. This kept it at a fixed price and made it affordable. The central bank also exchanges the wheat mill's Lebanese pounds into dollars so they can import wheat. But as it runs off its foreign reserves, the central bank is scaling back on the subsidies program and allocating fewer dollars. When the subsidies started in Lebanon, the process of uh, inverting the Lebanese pounds to dollars used to take something like maybe 10 days, two weeks maximum. But now, unfortunately, all the process is taking something like two months. To prevent lines and panic growing outside bakeries and in the country, the Lebanese government said it extended $15 million in credit to wheat importers, which will only last a few weeks. Back in Elise Bakery, Elen says retirement is not even an option. يعني جوزي عمره 73 سنة 74 سنة صار عمر بالفرن مش لازم يرتاح علمنا أولادنا وربيناهم وكبرناهم ولا يصيروا بأشغالهم وكل شيء هلا صار دور دور هن يبادلونا مدرس منين بدنا يبادلونا إذا ما في شغل لأولادنا منين بدنا يبادلونا إلي still vividly remembers Lebanon's civil war he says the current situation is a mental war that is even harder for him